what's going on. It's Benja or Beijing Canadian or Mitch, whichever one you prefer to go by. I don't really mind their eyelash and I enjoy them all. And this is the long awaited 100. Living my best life. And uh, I thought. <laughs> But yes, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with Minecraft. How original, I know. I remember my big brother showing me him playing Minecraft when I was a little kid way back in 2010, when Minecraft was still in its alpha. I'd go to school, back then it was in year three, and show all my friends pictures of Minecraft on the school computers. I also used to play a lot of pivot stick figure then. I wonder what happened to that, that program. Of course, though, when I moved back to Newman, I did not have access to computers or internet because my parents figured it'd be, for some reason, cheaper to spend five years without internet rather than spend the $300 it would cost to connect their house directly to the internet line or whatever it was. <sighs> Gen X logic is impeccable. So I never actually got to play Minecraft for a good many years. But it's insane to think that I'd spend the entirety of my recess and lunch in primary school, talking to kids about Minecraft while never getting to play the game. I just kept asking those kids to test things out on the game for me, which they never did because they were busy having fun. Um, <laughs> I used to sketch out Minecraft redstone contraptions on a piece of paper, trying to use my very shitty understanding of Minecraft logic. Somewhat of a miracle I managed to avoid an autism diagnosis until adulthood because that kind of obsession transferred to many other things in the future, including Borderlands, where during high school, in spite of only being able to play on the weekends, I would talk about it constantly to my friends every day of the week and make plans with them, even though they weren't that into it at the time. I had some cool friends back then. They were just like, yeah man, that's cool. Yeah, I don't mind listening to you talk about this game for like 12 hours. I honestly marvel at their patience. Anyway, how did I get my Minecraft fix back in the day? Well, it's quite simple. I got my Minecraft fix the same way sports fans get their fix, in spite of most of them having a body mass index the same as the proportion of Australians that eat pineapple on pizza. That is very high. Though if you ask a sports fan what kind of pizza they enjoy, they'd probably say meat lovers and three times a week. I did it by watching people play the game, goddammit. That's right, I was into Minecraft YouTube before dreams were cool. Both the physical concept and the YouTuber. Give up on your dreams, kids. They're not cool anymore. And they cheat on speedruns. I saw your dreams. You know how fast you were flying? That defies logic. <coughs> Dream SMP can die. Beijing Canadian Captain Sparkles is where it's at, and that's the hill I'm gonna fight and die on. I discovered through the genius of going to the library to get books that you could use the computers at the library for only $2, and they don't have the restrictions that school computers have, which is like some great firewall of China that is for some reason maintained by a 20-something year old guy in speed dealer sunglasses at the kids, nicknamed Crab for some reason. You're cool though, Crab. Now this is the story of how I became a Bali Burn Discs and maximized my Minecraft content consumption so that I could get that slug my mail grind set. This was a completely unplanned bit. How did I get on that slug my grind set and become a living Bali Burn Disc of Minecraft Let's Play videos? Find out in this next segment. I'm only gonna say an obsessive amount of times. <laughs> Let me crunch the numbers for you. I was only allowed to be at the library after school until 5 p.m. School finishes earlier in this mining town at 2.20 p.m. So that gives me 10 minutes to walk home, drop my bag off, head to the library, and usually by the time the computers start up, I'm ready to go at around 3 p.m. That gave me only two hours to watch my Minecraft Let's Play videos. That's only like assuming that the videos average out to 15 minutes, about eight videos a session. That just wouldn't do for me. I'm a man with strong needs that need to be fulfilled. That is when I had the bright idea. Surely there was a way to download YouTube videos. So there I was on the search, prowling through these barren websites of old forums that have even back then, even back in the early tiny teens, were old, ancient forums with answers, and those kinds of YouTube videos that 
had no speech in it and had these copyright free music and just a guy with text on going, hello, on this tutorial today we'll be screwing your mum. Those kinds of tutorials. I probably watched a bunch of them to figure it out as well until I discovered the miracle and still staple of my back end processing YouTube downloading websites. Beautiful things, miracle of the earth, backbone of my economy. So for my first haul, I managed to download four Captain Sparkles videos that I was able to go home and watch. One of which was uh, corrupted and thus only half watchable, but still. This was my first act of committing piracy. Unless you count that time my mum torrented a Percy Jackson book onto my ebook that was uh, an AO3 tier fan fiction. And boy, did I feel like doing my study shanty. Ah, the feeling of elation I felt upon being able to watch those videos on my PlayStation 3. After a while of doing this and getting into the rhythm of YouTube downloading, I started to feel a bit tedious with it because uh, you have to put each link in one at a time. I thought, surely there was a more efficient way to get this done. You see, the Liberal National Government of Malcolm Turnbull may have resulted in an internet in Australia that is far worse than it could have been. It could have been some of the best internet on earth and instead it's some of the most mediocrely performing. The bottleneck of my downloading was still not the internet but it was in fact the amount of time it took to paste a link in and wait for it to finish, which is like the boredom of it all. So I needed a way to download multiple videos at the same time. So I was again on the search, on the prowl, if you will. Sorry, I'm just wearing this freaking calico jacket, so I feel like fucking Steve Irwin, like, Crikey, mate! Caught yourself another one, did ya? Ain't she a beaut? Many a library days later, I found the mystical combo. Chrono Download Manager and YouTube Multi Downloader. Oh my god! My mother had me allowed to be protected to get. And now I can I just in Ruhe with a Cola and a Captain Sparkles video gemütlich machen. Noch dazu lade ich mir gerade ein Bächen Canadian Video runter. Juhu! Like a Spartan pair up. They were a match made in heaven. Or like when Remy showed his brother what it was like to eat two beautiful foods at once. Like two complimentary bits of a heart. It was just really like convenient for downloading videos is what I was saying. Now the only bottleneck was his internet speed, a problem only an Anthony Albanese Labour government could fix. And that was something that wouldn't happen until the distant future, aka right now. So in fashion, I downloaded the lowest viable size, 360p. I'm still getting used to pixels that are any higher than that. I mean, pixels suck after all, ignore the fact that I am filming on a pixel. Even now, I'm only just getting used to being dependent on 1080p videos, now that I have an Ethernet cable connection. You know, I've only spent the last two years of an actual internet connection that isn't Wi-Fi hotspot. Last time I checked my old hard drive that had my downloaded videos on it, I had 3,000 video files. Everything from the Minecraft Let's Plays to the Vlog Brothers and Wheezy Waiter, which are two things I was obsessed with for a bit. Videos from them stretching as far back as 2007 when I used to binge watch them in my bedroom. It was crazy. I had an energy back then that is incomparable to today for that kind of stuff. I, I wish I could return to that level of obsession because I would find that so incredibly useful. My mum messaged me when I was writing this script to remind me that I I used to apparently sit in front of the pool and use its free Wi-Fi to play games on. I do remember I used to, I, I once tried to download the entirety of the Matrix using the pool's Wi-Fi, which I failed to do. And I remember trying to download it because the kids at school used to call me Neo because I used to wear Speed Dealer sunglasses. Like inside as well. In fact, these were the exact sunglasses. I realized they're hanging on the wall. These were the exact sunglasses I used to wear at school. <laughs> oh, my little fedora. Very different person now. Now I wear the much cooler sunglasses, aviators. And now I'm not a weird kid anymore, but a weird adult. All of my greatest and most extensive works, whether it be my videos or the meme comics I've made. 
I've made some big meme comics. They have all come from an almost divine obsession, an unceasing and energetic passion. My hope is that if I can figure out where these obsessions come from, if I can figure out how to control these obsessions and orient them to a more useful way, I feel like I can contribute a lot more to society. I think that it is important that we understand the kinds of people that we are, our quirks and our traits, so that we can best organise ourselves in a way that is most helpful to those we care about. We work on embettering ourselves for the betterment of others. Library computer for my beloved.